Hey everybody, um, I'm just uh, gonna show you pretty much what I use uh, for my camera rig. Uh, it's uh, a basic setup, but there's a lot of components that go together to make the rig. Um, I guess right now I'm leaning on my uh, tripod and this is my HDV 501 head tripod fluid head. It's beautiful, I've used it for about 12 years. Um, you can check it out, see it's just basically simple legs, a simple uh, open release and close release. Um, you can even, I'm sure you've all seen this, but you can even bring the head up and you can bring it back down. And yeah, it's just a really, really dependable uh, tripod. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna form uh, the entire rig and then I'm gonna talk about uh, what's on the rig, uh, every specific part. So let's do this. Okay, so here we go. This tripod is um, all decked out. We've got it. Uh, we've got the Feel World monitor. Um, we've got the Ceremonic uh, preamp. We've got the, um, the uh, Rode video mic. We've got the newer um, uh, follow focus, and we've got the, the map box. We've got all sorts of stuff going on here. I'm just going to start with the first part of. Uh, of this um, contraption. The very top is uh, the Feel World Master. It's a seven, in seven inch. Um, unfortunately, with a 60D, if you use uh, um, any monitor um, in HDMI, it's gonna come out uh, when you're uh, filming something uh, in uh, 720, or almost, it's like SD as opposed to HD when you're filming. So I have to be very careful about uh, focusing um, using the monitor, but it's been awesome for me. Like, I've had no problems other than that. Um, it's, it's totally cool to have it like that for me. Uh, we also have up here a big, a big selling point for me was the SDI um, input. So we have SDI and we also have HDMI. So the SDI can go with my uh, larger camera, which is the uh, EX1, which actually is filming me right now. Um, and uh, it's, just, it's just for, for the, the EX1, uh, you can actually get the full, the full size uh, on the screen um, and there's no problems with that. Um, I find, I don't know if anyone else finds this, but if you have a, a Feel World Master um, monitor, uh, that the uh, monitor mounts is a little bit tricky to understand how to use it. Maybe you guys saw I was twisting the, the, the monitor uh, when I was setting it up. Um, sometimes I'm not quite sure exactly uh, the way that it functions, but when it does function, it's pretty tight, so it's not going to fall off. Um, down below, we've got the Ceremonic uh, SR PAX1. Uh, this is the preamp. So the reason why we have preamps is because the preamps um, inside of your camera are usually not that effective or they're not very uh, good at um, producing quality uh, sound. So um, I went out, I got the uh, Ceremonic uh, preamp. Uh, what I really like about this, which I've always done in all my productions is, um, especially even with the EX1, is I'd always have headphones um, or earbuds in my ears to listen to what's going on. Um, uh, uh, during the project and in this case this is super important for me when I do interviews uh, because I want to hear what's going on and monitor and see if uh, you know so there's something I'm not happy with maybe there's a train going by or there's children sh uh, shouting uh, I might want to redo a take because of that so this allows me to do that um, it also has a, a gain control so there's a left and right gain control um, you can pretty much uh, uh, change uh, the, the loudness of, of your uh, subjects uh, while, you're, while you're shooting just using those two knobs or one of those knobs. Um, and also there is, uh, which I like, is the headphone jack. Now the headphone jack is super useful. Um, I usually put in these, um, uh, these are the Sony um, studio monitor 
uh, MDR7506 headphones. Uh, I love this. I love these guys. I've been using them for editing and, and shooting, and they're just they feel really good on your ears um, for most of the time. So um, I put those on and I monitor what's going on through the preamp. Uh, just be very, very uh, careful that with the preamp, you have a cable that goes from out from the preamp into the microphone input of your DSLR camera, which this one is a 60D. Make sure that one's super plugged in. You push it all the way through, or you're, gonna, uh, you're not gonna get any audio recording. Um, uh, uh, through the through the preamp. Um, also, the preamp allows me to have three different hot shoes or three different things on on it. As you can see right now, we have the the monitor on top. We have the Rode video mic from a long time ago. It's like 12 years ago. I've had this thing. It still sounds pretty good. And then I also have uh, one more open hot hot shoe uh, mount, which I uh, use with my uh, Sony lavalier. Um, wireless um, uh, microphones. So that's what actually what's on me right now. You're hearing me uh, through that audio uh, through the EX1. Um, we also have over here, this is from the newer uh, products. I really like newer stuff. I've never had any issues with them. And um, this follow focus has uh, given me some beautiful shots uh, in the past. It's, uh, it's just basically um, there with, there's an, a ring around the uh, around the focus ring uh, and then you go there and then you, you you know you can get focus or you can put it out of focus uh, really easily uh, in a very very beautiful uh, uh, fashion fashion uh, uh, matte box is just a plastic guy that's there to stop uh, any light coming in there's no ND filters on that or whatever else it's very basic and um, what else we got here I think that might be it I don't really see much else to talk about um, just that it's a pretty big rig. Uh, I'm used to just having like a EX1 on my shoulder, like a, you know, but then with this one, you have to set up everything. I mean, the beauty of it, of course, for me, the selling point of having a big rig like this is that I can have my um, camera, my DSL, DSLR camera with uh, any lens that I prefer. And in this case, uh, this one is the um, 17 to 55 millimeter uh, 2.8, uh, uh, lens, uh, uh, Canon lens, and yeah, it just makes your visuals so much more better. EX1 is like everything's always in focus, which is fine, but um, I, I really love the cinematic feel that this, uh, this camera gives me. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the little tour of my camera rig, and um, maybe I'll make another video soon. Uh, talking about my uh, my gimbal that I own, the Hohem uh, iSteady gimbal, which I really like too. Okay, thanks.